The year was 1986. It was a time before widespread use of personal computers, or portable phones, or text messaging, or GPS, especially aboard Great Lakes freighters. The place is here. Bay City, Michigan and the Consumers Power Coal Dock. The day was Friday, July the 4th. Inbound this morning from Saginaw Bay was the 730-foot self-unloader American Mariner. Her cargo was 23,000 tons of coal. And for her captain, the objective was simple. Unload the coal, get the heck out of the Saginaw River, before the famed Bay City fireworks and its mass of pleasure boats with their drunken passengers could clog the waterway. Considering the freighter's early arrival, she could easily be unloaded and be far out into Lake Huron before the fun began. Easing up to the 2,600 foot long dock, the boat snugged its way up into the 1,200 foot area where the coal is normally dispensed. Normally there was a dock foreman who would tell the first mate where to place the individual piles or how to spread the coal out. Additionally, there was always activity on the dock as the skip loaders would transfer the coal to the conveyor that feeds the power plant. Today, however, the dock area was quite vacant because it was a national holiday. No one answered any of the phone numbers listed for the coal dock. A crew member was put ashore and sent to the guard gate to see if someone could be contacted. The gate was closed and locked, plus the guardhouse was empty. Now the first mate began calling his company to see if they could find someone. Hours passed and the pleasure boats began to gather on the river. Finally, someone from the dock was reached, and the answer as to where to put the coal was received. Quote, just put it between the flagpoles, unquote, was the terse answer received over the radio. When I heard that on my marine scanner, I just knew what was coming. That dock had two flagpoles that were spaced about 240 feet apart. So I drove down to the riverfront, across from the coal dock, with my camera at the ready. Thus, here we see the American Mariner, as she spent the next five and one-half hours building a huge mountain of 23,000 tons of coal between the flagpoles. And then, she just sailed away. The spectacular Bay City fireworks went off as planned. A good time was had by all, except for the dock crew that returned after the holiday to find a new landscape.